Hi, my name is Funky Otakon and welcome to my channel. Today, we are remaking the 2020 to 2021 season of the New York Knicks. Let's hop onto my league and get this game started. Let's pick current NBA teams for now. I'll be using the official 2K roster, since we'll be picking start from off-season. Before we begin, let's set up our options. I've saved a realistic gameplay setting as to make it closer to real-life NBA gameplay as possible. First, quarter length is up to 12 minutes. 2K has always been overly aggressive with CPU CPU trades, so I bumped down trade frequency to 24. I've also brought down career ending injury frequency for obvious reasons. Wouldn't want Julius Randle to have a freak accident. One of the most important settings on here, is the progression. I want my game and the players to maximize their talent and grow their potential immediately, similar to Linsanity or Hassan Whiteside's quick rise. For in-season training, I've also adjusted the rating for each level of intensity. I mean, why would players progress for very low training intensity, right? Same goes with work ethic. Gameplay difficulty is Hall of Fame, I've also upped morale and chemistry settings, as these are key factors for a team's success. Since we got that covered, let's go select our team. Originally I wanted to get a middling Eastern Conference team, like the Pistons or the Magic. I mean, like why would we remake a season of a successful, playoff-bound team right? Where's the challenge in that? Anyway, my self-guidelines were to have at least one budding star and a very young core. So I ended up with the New York Knicks. I have my star in Julius Randle with a strong and very young team of RJ Barrett, Mitch Robinson, and maybe Kevin Knox. No automations here, everything will be manual. Let's use the 2K official 2020 draft class. So let's quickly get past these, although for these league meetings, the expansion is very intriguing but I need to rebuild my own team first and having an extra team picking from my players would make that tougher. Here we go. Draft lottery time. I'm in the top 3 highest chance to pick number 1. At the very least, I'm guaranteed a top 5 pick. This draft class isn't too deep for me, so I'm hoping to get Lamelo Ball or Anthony Edwards. And yes, no OB top in for me. So I fast forwarded into the final results and I ended up getting the 5th pick in the NBA draft behind the Mavericks, Grizzlies, Suns, and Hawks. Before checking the mock drafts, I'm going to reshape my front office first. Basically I'm dropping anyone who's below B for any key trade. I don't want a C- trainer so you have to go, Mr. Thomas. Randy Martin is the best of the bunch with an A-, but he has two offers already. But let's try to up his asking salary past 300 to battle the other offers. Mike Woodson's stats won't do for me, so he has to go too. Man, I wish 2K would allow head coach candidates to consider an assistant position. Coach Pedersen has an A in offense and B in potential, but his asking price is a bit high. I still need to save a bit of money even if I have quite a budget allocation for staff and even though this is the Knicks, let's keep it realistic. Let's just go with Coach Dawkins here. Yes, I'm aware that Thibodeau has C pluses for his stats, but I'd rather have a recognizable name and face for my head coaching role. Yes, the commentary saying my coach's name matters. But you my assistant GM, bye. Let's go with Mr. Best. Too much competition on the top three candidates. And there you have it, congratulations to the new front office of the New York Knicks. Before we proceed, let's peep the mock drafts first and see who the other teams are targeting or are projected to draft. 
It's always strange when you use the 2K official draft class and they'll have these random names like Dejount Grady and Alexi C. Menko who are 1, aren't in this draft class and 2, aren't actual real players. Anyway, so I'm projected to draft Lamelo Ball in two of the three media sites. So let's do Perspex Scouting, and select the players I wanted to well, scout. Yes, I love the forwards like Okoro and Williams. Wouldn't hurt to have them since I think I have a couple of picks in the first round. Normally I use the social media tab as reference to see whose names I can quickly peek. Anthony Edwards ceiling is at all NBA level and ball ceiling is all NBA Chris Paul. I'm so torn. The random players also get random projections lol. Let's look at my roster and which assets I have that I can flip. What I do is go to trade finder for an easy view of who I still have on contract. Bobby Porta seems like a good player to flip with a 77 overall and expiring contract, let's see who we can get for him. Jeremiah Grant would be great. But I'm not too fond of letting go of my 2023 first round pick. But the Craig kicker is enticing. I'm intrigued with the Lakers offer of the 11th pick of this draft. Maybe I can get a rookie forward of the future, since I barely have any forwards outside of Randall. And I get 15 million off the books. But since clearing cap space and proofing our next 5 to 7 years, let's go with the Lakers trade offer. One trick I do to help maximize my roster is see the potential of my players by changing their primary positions. So I do a quick edit and peak position changes to see how their ratings fluctuate. I'm flipping Barrett into a small forward. Let's check the salary cap how much I still have for free agency and eventual rookie signings. Minus 343,000 is not bad. Let me check first who is projected for my 11th pick from the Lakers. Okong Gluo seems like a good backup center. Devin Vassell is also an interesting pick. Let's get the draft combine out of the way. Pre-draft workouts to get more scouting info. Let's scout more on Williams and Okoro and a bunch of these guys that could fall on my lap by the 11th pick. Wow, lame low ball with an injury concern on his knee. Makes me want to lean more towards Edwards, if I get a chance to draft him. BA draft time. Let's get to it Mr. Silver. Wow. For the first pick, Dallas goes for a reach for Obi Toppin. This trade makes me nervous because Edwards and Ball could be gone quick. And another reach. The big's getting picked early. I don't even have a Kiowa on my top 10. As expected, Ball is gone by the third pick to the Suns. Strange bug that the default injury location is the abdomen. And my worst fears have come true. Hawks pick up Edwards right before me. Who's left? It's too early to pick Patrick Williams or any of these guys. Let's see if I can either trade down or get a key player instead. Oh man, none of these offers look good. Let's see if I can directly offer for Lamelo or maybe we go with Edwards. What? This is practically a steal. Definitely not the Randall offer. But I can definitely flip Knox or Dotson. The Knox trade has a Capella kicker. 
do I see Capella as my starting center that can mentor Robinson? Aw oh, fuck it, let's go for it. And the Hawks immediately replace Capella with Wiseman. To which they traded immediately. What is up with the 2k trade engine? Anyway, sucks for the Hawks. Let's just go to my 11th pick. So far my prospects are still on the board. Surprising to see these weaknesses on Williams and Okoro so maybe let's go with a young guard, Cole Anthony, and pick a forward later. Let's skip to my next pick. Still in the first round and Lau Patrick Williams is still available. At pick 20. Drafting him now. So I'm done with the draft and I think I did pretty well. I got my preferred first pick with Edwards. I might have flipped him for Knox, but I had no plans for him anyway plus I got Capella. The Cole Anthony and Patrick Williams picks were great too. I needed a young guard and forward on the bench to build on. And I got Pokasovski on the 14th pick of the second round. Now with the players and team options. Mitchell Robinson, no brainer, I'm picking up his option. Bullock so I have a strong 3 and D guard. Peyton maybe. So I can flip him for a better talent later on. So I have a guard laden lineup, which isn't bad. Let me just update the secondary positions for Gibson and Barrett, so I can be more flexible with rotations. Let's also do Harkless. Free agency moratorium time, so I'm looking for someone to fit the team system versus overall talent. Since I have negative value in my salary cap, let's free up some cap space by releasing cap holds. So bye guys and hello 13 million cap space. I can sign a good backup for Randall. Crowder seems like a good pickup. But let's try Harrell. Okay too much. Okay, let's go Jay Crowder. He can still back out since it's the moratorium so I doubt it. Let's get a good defensive guard with Roberson. Pretty cheap at 6 million for 2 years. And now their official Knicks. Looking into the other news, Harrell signs with the Pistons. AD stays with the Lakers, and Gallinari with the Thunder. Nothing too exciting. So let's look at the roster. Solid center rotation with Robinson and Capella. I have Randall as my star power forward with a defensive backup in Crowder. Barrett and Williams at small forward. My guards aren't a strong bunch, but as long as I have Edwards, I can work with that for now. And good young third stringers like Poku. I have 18 players on the squad so I need to drop some guys. But I think I'm good with the team now. So let's check the power rankings first. And as expected, the Knicks are at Lau, 29. I'm projecting that year 1, the Knicks can be top 10, top 15 team in these power rankings. Let's check out the player progression. And wow, what a jump by Robinson with plus 3 to ranking. Capella, Randall, Barrett gets plus 2 each. I now have 3 players on AD plus ranking, all of them in the front court too. I'm getting worried about splitting minutes with Robinson and Capella. I'm skipping the summer league. The all-star city is Indiana, ok. For the next draft class, let's go with the top downloaded class. These guys who upload really put some work into these, so I see nothing wrong. 
simulate the hoop summit so we can have a glimpse of what Kate Cunningham can do. And it was a lopsided game favoring the USA. It looks like a pretty shallow draft class too. For training camp, let's build up Randall's offensive fundamentals. For Anthony Edwards, same, but let's pick combo guard so we can up his handling, passing, and shooting. Barrett will be my third guy with the free training camp credits, so maybe basketball 101, try to turn him into a decent two-way player. So let's go to the season. I'll upload the part 2 of this video series when I work on the roster rotations, minutes, team strategy, and even player mentorship. So far this New York Knicks is looking pretty solid, but do the pieces work? Until the next video. Funky Otakon out.